Now class 5, this is another portion, another part of the chapter, uh, Wet Wealth. So we are going to start from the uh, last portion of the page number 20. So please follow the video along with your book. We use groundwater by digging wells. In an open well, people lower a bucket into the well in to get the water. Many villages still have such wells. As uh, maybe you have seen the wells uh, or maybe not. So I am telling you how I have told you in the previous video that how people are getting the groundwater through the tube wells. Now many villages are there. So they have the wells and they have to dig the well or uh, naturally they have the well. Or many people are digging the well and they are getting the water from there. So many people are actually lowered down the bucket into the place and they, they are capturing the water. They have the water and they are using the water. And many villages have like this. Okay. As they are open, the groundwater can dirt. Obviously the groundwater, that means when they are getting the water, so they don't have anything to cover the uh, upper portion. Okay. So maybe something will uh, something will come and something will add into the water. So it's uh, it's not hygienic, okay, and it's not also very good for the people. So uh, and the water can uh, dirty also can get dirty. So a tube well is a deep narrow well. A, well, a tube uh, goes deep down to the underground water level. A pump is used to bring the water up. Tube wells have two advantages. They can reach underground water. Pools with ordinary wells cannot. And since the water comes up in a pipeline, it is cleaner. So now this question can come that why we prefer tube wells rather than the ordinary digging wells. Obviously, ordinary digging wells, they are just like that. You can understand this way. That they are just like that. People, uh, this portion may be... Uh, it's, 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 we don't get it. Okay, we don't see it. Rather, we see it, but uh, the people are actually uh, keeping the, uh, that means the bucket over there. Okay, bucket over there and they are taking the water from, uh, from this portion. Okay, so there is no lead or something, so uh, water can get dirty. But in case of tube, uh, um, tube well, sorry. Tube well, what will happen? Suppose like this is the uh, underground water we get here. Okay. So tube well are this, this tube. Okay. This pipe, uh, it goes dirty down into the portion and then with the help of this tube light, people are getting the water. So what are the advantages of this, of using the tube uh, wells water? Number one, that they reach underground water pools with which ordinary, uh, that means well cannot go. Obviously, with the help of this pipe, uh, that means it can go deep down. Number one, which is very useful for us. Number two, and then since it is going down, very deep down into the uh, soil, into the, uh, that means um, deeper portion. So, uh, and also we see that this is a, this is a tube tube type of thing it's a pipeline it's a pipeline so as the water comes through the pipeline it is much cleaner Clean, uh, okay so uh, it is very important and this portions you have to read also now another portion comes that we have also read about this uh, i told you about um, uh, the different uh, sources of water <coughs> as i have uh, discussed also that uh, monsoon rain number two that is uh, rivers of the country number three that is uh, 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 ground uh, lakes and ponds and number four that is groundwater now we are going to read about that how we are storing the water how we can store the water okay so uh, as you know that where water is very precious okay and we have to store the water for our future generation and for us uh, not only for future generation, for our different purposes. So we have to store the water. So uh, how we can store this water? Now, storing and saving wet wealth. See, uh, the monsoon comes only at certain times of the year, but water is needed all around the year. That is why there are different ways of storing and saving water. It's very important. We know that monsoon comes in a certain amount of year. A certain time, not amount, sorry, certain time of year. 
so uh, as you know also that uh, uh, monsoon rain is very important and uh, though we get uh, the rivers uh, though we get the lakes and ponds ground water but it, these are not only sufficient okay so uh, we have to store the water so basically what which is very important source of water in india is that monsoon rain but monsoon rain we don't get all uh, the year throughout the year we don't get the monsoon rain so we have to store the water for our future work and how we uh, store this water and that is and this is the storing of water is called saving the water also okay now how we are storing this that is very important now uh, we are going to start with dams what are these dams and how we are storing the water with the help of the dams okay this is a way of storing rain water in the rivers we know that india is uh, uh, having uh, numerous rivers and uh, this uh, through the help of these dams we can store the water of the rivers okay a dam dam what does it mean dam means it's a huge wall okay uh, it built across a river in a narrow river valley it blocks the flow of the river water which gets stored behind the uh, dam forming a lake or river reservoir so reserve uh, that means how this dams are going on suppose uh, uh, suppose this is a river it's going on and uh, we get a huge wall okay and when we build across a huge wall so what will happen this blocks this huge wall is blocking the flow of the river water okay and with the help of this river uh, that means a uh, that means a uh, huge wall which is uh, uh, dams we get to we get to store the excessive that means the extra water and uh, this water can be stored as a lake or reservoirs okay and behind this uh, this uh, huge wall or the dams okay now special gates high up in the dam can be opened in uh, open uh, to allow some amounts of the uh, <coughs> river water to flow through whenever it is needed and this how to uh, control the water of the rivers okay through this dam dams are having generally different uh, gates okay and through this gates we can uh, control the water of the river suppose like this dam is having the four gates and when we have the uh, plenty amount of water so we can uh, open this two three gates and the water can go okay can can go uh, can go also but suppose like we uh, that at the time of summer season we uh, the river does not have a, a huge number a huge amount of water so that then this will be closed the gates will be closed so the water uh, will be uh, like normal that means the river water will be like normal okay so here see what is written a dams are usually built of concrete a strong building material made of broken stone sand cement and water you can see some dams in the picture in the map on page uh, page number 19 see this <clears throat> i have to show you this is a picture okay this is a picture of a dam and uh, here you can see these are the gates of the dam okay and this is the reservoir clear this is the reservoir and this is the gates of the dam 